Riley showed was an avid fisherman whose shark jaw now sits on his daughter's mantle. He was um, kind of crazy <laughs> in a good way. Casey showed was, of course, a daddy's girl. He called me every day, always told me he loved me. And her dad now rests on her mantle, too, overlooking his three grandchildren, one of them due in just two days that he'll never meet. I was always a forgiving person, but this is just something that I, I, I don't think I'll ever forgive. Kelly was killed the night he went to Kenny's Bar and Grill in Woodland. This was a very violent killing. Yolo County District Attorney Jeff Reisig is now fighting to keep Kelly's killer, 57-year-old Jeffrey Lemus, in prison. You know, Mr. Lemus killed a man uh, in the middle of a bar uh, with a very large knife, and in our opinion, um, he still poses a great risk to this community. Lemus is currently housed at the California Healthcare Facility in Stockton and has only served one year of his seven year sentence for manslaughter. He's under consideration for compassionate release because he has a terminal illness. Doctors believe he has about six months to live. I know part of it is based on wanting to be compassionate and releasing people that are terminally ill. Uh, but there's also cost savings when they release these people from prison early. The state doesn't have to pay for their treatment anymore. The CDCR says generally the program is for inmates who need 24-hour care, and the process requires multiple levels of review. First offense or not, how many of us go out and just stab somebody with a 18-inch knife? For Schott's family, the shock of this case resurfacing brings tears and frustration. It's like he can get his last wishes granted. And my dad didn't get that. He didn't get to die with his loved ones. Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News.